Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching, whatever time you're watching. Thank you for tuning in to Spiritual Perspectives. I'm your host, along with my co-host here today, Prophetess Tansy Collar. We're going to just talk today. Listen, we want you to invite some friends to watch this broadcast. I believe that you're really going to be blessed. The topic we're going to be talking about today is dealing with prayer and the need for prayer. So thank you, Prophetess, for being here with me today. Thank you, Apostle, once again. It's, it's always great to be with you. It's been a battle. It's been a battle. Just to get on here. Wow. So I know God wants to do something amazing. Always. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. he wants to do. Um, you know, we've been talking about um, this, doing this broadcast, and um, with the focus being to, 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 to give out information as Holy Spirit leads us, mm -hmm. but also to pray for um for the people that are watching yes. whether they're watching now or watching at a later time yes mm -hmm. um your broadcast here is called rise and pray rise and pray rise and pray yes so it doesn't um catch me off guard that when i talk with you <laughs> previously that you said the lord has spoken to you about the need for prayer the need in for this prayer. time yes sir what did the lord say to you concerning he's saying that? um to me concerning that the many people um are starting to get a little weary okay. in well-doing. Okay. Um, I believe it's because it appears that many of the prayers are being delayed, okay. the manifestation. And, and so he said, encourage the people mm -hmm. to don't stop praying. Mm -hmm. Because prayer is a communication with him. Mm -hmm. And he needs our prayers yes. to go forth. Yes. 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 I honestly believe, um, and this is just me, but mm -hmm. I honestly believe that our prayers minister to God. And you know, that is just so amazing that you said that. Uh, this morning I was just reading a little bit about the sons of Zodak okay. and how they ministered to the Lord. Wow. That is just so amazing yeah, yeah. that you're saying this. And yes, our prayers do minister to the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, back when the priest of old, they had stopped ministering to the Lord. Mm -hmm. They had fallen off and had allowed strange things to come sure. into their lives. Mm -hmm. They said, but the Lord knew that the sons of Zodak would minister to him. Okay. And he blessed them. Yes, and yes. so God is looking for us to release our prayers to him mm -hmm. for several reasons. Yeah. And I think one main reason is because when we pray, it's saying that, Father, we believe you. Yes, that's it. That, that's the ministering factor. Yes. Because prayer, I believe it is an indicator of our faith. Mm. We believe God enough to pray. Yes. And ask him for the help. Not only do, does, it, did it, does it portray our faith in him, but... God really wants us to be dependent upon him. Yes. And prayer is one of those main indicators that we depend on him. It does. It really does. And I believe also that prayer is energized by our relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Knowing that he's a good father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. And that he's, you know, that he is a living God. Yeah, yeah. He says, yeah. I'm the living God. I'm the true God. Mm -hmm. I am the king of kings. Mm -hmm. And I believe that when we can pray, and stay consistent with it in yeah. the midst of turbulence and mm -hmm. when we it appears that things aren't working well it's sure. saying god i trust you yeah yes yes wow yeah uh, and um there's something that god knows i think that we don't recognize mm -hmm. uh, enough is that not only that when we pray to god he wants us to pray not only do we, when we pray to him, that it, 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 it says we trust him. Yes. And we place our dependence on mm. him. But also God knows that the prayers and the, and, and the consistency of prayer helps not to just always change our situation, but changes us <laughs> in the situation. <laughs> yes. So like you were saying, when things seem delayed, mm. Our prayers be being delayed doesn't mean that our prayers aren't working. Yes. Because maybe what God is using those prayers for and that delay mm -hmm. is to is to change us in the process of whatever it is we're waiting for for Him to manifest. Yes. And what we're praying for. Um, it does say that the word is a two-edged sword, right. and as we are releasing the word mm -hmm. of God, I believe it is also yes. working. 
yes. uh, within us. Mm -hmm. And so we have a choice in that matter. Yeah. You know, that is the Holy Spirit is revealing to us what needs to be changed. Mm -hmm. Or are we willing to wow. change anything because it's our will? Mm -hmm. um, and he honors that. Yeah. And so it's just so dynamic um, when a person can just truly come to God in prayer, not as a machine, uh, not as a, you know, pull the handle, sure. answer my prayers, but in a relationship. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Knowing that God is love, knowing that he is yeah. a good father, knowing that his word does not return void, that we can trust and depend upon him mm -hmm. and that Jesus came that we would have life and life more, more abundantly. Yes, yes. And so he says, put me in remembrance of my word. Mm -hmm. And so when, I believe when we started mixing several things together that we just see uh, dynamic results in wow. our prayer life. Yeah. Um, Bible says we all, men ought to always pray. Mm -hmm. um, Bible tells us we're to pray without ceasing. Mm. We have we know what God's focus, what God's idea is when it comes to yes. prayer. And um, one of the things um, prayer does more it does so many things. Mm. It does so many things. And, and just from a personal standpoint, I recall praying. Uh, many times, mm -hmm. and the thing that I started out praying for, the Holy Spirit started revealing things wow. to me mm -hmm. about me while I was praying or yes. supposedly praying for other things. God, the Holy Spirit started showing me things about <laughs> about myself. Yes. And, and, and you know, um, again, that deals, for me, that's about the relationship. It is. That's about God speaking to us because we spend time with him in prayer. And it's not always what we want to pray about, but mm. it's what God wants to release in us, you know. Yes. Because uh, it speaks to our weakness, too. Mm. Mm. Bible says mm. when we don't, when we, we, we don't know what we ought to pray, mm. that mm. speaks to weakness. Yes. And Holy Spirit, God comes along and, 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 and gives us and strengthens us. Yes, he does. And in that weakness, he says, when thou art weak, thou art my strong, then yes, in him, mm -hmm. we are strong. Yeah. And in that weakness also, as we do not know what to pray, I think it's so beautiful that we can yield ourselves to the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and to begin to allow him mm -hmm. to pray the perfect will of God sure. in us and through us. Sure. And so a lot of people look at weakness as being something bad, mm -hmm. but God looks at our weakness as being strength, especially mm -hmm. when we're leaning on him That's right. and depending That's on it. him. That's it. That with God, without you, I can do nothing. That's right. Yes. And so sometimes I find myself that I, you know, when I'm praying, I think it's me. I'm, I'm pushing and I'm praying. Mm -hmm. And it's like, no, I can hear the Holy Spirit say, no. Mm -hmm. Allow me to guide you. Yeah. Allow me to take you into these mm -hmm. deeper realms in prayer. Take the labor out and of it. And take the labor out of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just presenting myself to him as an empty yes. vessel ready for him to direct yes. me. Mm -hmm. um, and another thing I believe, Apostle, is when we, you know, we leave our agenda and we start praying the will of oh, God. God. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking about some dynamic things that That's would right. truly happen. That's right. And it's an amazing this morning I was praying with a lady mm -hmm. and she was asking me some questions. She said, I've been praying for the last 30 days and nothing has happened. Mm -hmm. And I said to her, what are you expecting from the Lord? Mm -hmm. Are you looking at him as a one, two, three, I follow mm -hmm. these steps? Right. Or are you going to him as your loving father? Mm -hmm. Are you looking to him? Are, in a, through a relationship, the mm -hmm. lens of a relationship mm -hmm. of someone that you can trust yeah. and then you see what happens there. Mm -hmm. And I, so I just believe that a lot of people, they just, they don't see him, God, as father, mm -hmm. as a loving father yeah. who was looking to, to shower down blessings, mm -hmm. who was looking to save his people, mm -hmm. who was looking to deliver his people, mm -hmm. and who was looking to show that the fame of his name must be restored. Yes, 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 yes. 
And that's the dynamic of it, in my estimation, is the position, where we stand, where we at, our mindset, our, our frame of mind yes. when we go to him. Yes. We, to, to, to honestly, if, if, we, if we interpret the scripture, um, we can interpret the scripture to say that when we're weak, mm. then is his strength made perfect in us, yes. which is exactly what God wants. Mm. But we try to be strong <laughs> when we're weak. Yes. Not realizing that the weakness is a freedom. It's a breakthrough. Ugh. It's an invitation for God to come in and do, and, allow, and for his will to be yes. done. For his will to be done. And you know, and I think, uh, is that Romans 6 when it says that we are died and we are buried with buried Christ? Buried with Christ, yes. And so when we're, when we, when we're dead, we're buried with Christ. Mm -hmm. And as he is raised, we're, we're raised, raised with, with him. him. Yes. And so in that, in that burial, that's where the, uh, the frailty is. Mm -hmm. That's where the weakness is. Yes. But in that, like you said, that's when God can show himself strong in our lives. Mm -hmm. When we yield to that weakness, to that death, death to self. Yes, 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 yes. Well, you know, the Bible says uh, 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 that Jesus was a man mm -hmm. of many sorrows. Mm. That speaks to weakness because yes. that speaks to the inability wow. to be able mm -hmm. to, to manage or to do things on on our yes, own. Yes. So in that sense, Jesus himself alone, even he stole away. Mm. That it's an indicator of when he would leave yes. and go pray, wow. he was dealing with his weakness. Mm -hmm. But he knew that that's how he would get his strength. He knew where to he go. He was able to go forward yes. and to keep and keeping. We just try to do too much. Mm -hmm. and, the, and, and, the, and the problem with that sometimes is that when we think we are or good, then many times we stop praying. Mm. That's the that's the that's the that's the danger. <laughs> that's the danger. I, I need to recognize my weakness so I can keep on praying. Yes, and I believe that's where the relationship comes in at. Mm -hmm. And it's not a formula. It's not going to God because I need this. Right. That when my needs are being met, I can stop praying. Mm -hmm. But once the love relationship uh, is kindled. Okay. And you stay there with him. You want to run into his presence. Mm -hmm. You want to spend time with him. Mm -hmm. And so it's no longer got my will in prayer. As I was saying about the lady that I prayed with earlier today, mm -hmm. now is praying God's will. Yes. That I can put everything concerning me to the side. Mm -hmm. And I'm here and saying, Father, what would you have me to pray yes. today? Yes. I'm yes. here on assignment for wow. you. Wow. And so that kind of takes away everything else. And the plan of the enemy is, you know, is to uh, so you see yourself fat, you see yourself happy. Yeah. There is no worries. And then you just go on and yeah. forget all about God. Mm -hmm. You forget about prayer mm -hmm. until something happens until again. Something happens. But these are growth levels and That's these right. are levels that we ascend in. That's right. Um, in God. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You said something powerful, praying God's will. And one of the things I stress in our church and to our members, and even yesterday, we do corporate prayer every Wednesday morning okay. at 6 o'clock. And um, yesterday, um, I prayed um, Psalm 63. Mm. I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm convinced that praying the word of God, yes. amen, is to pray the will of God. It is. And what that does is that what we don't understand mm -hmm. sometimes is that just because we have an uh, understanding of the scripture doesn't mean that our will has been subject to his will. Mm -hmm. We just know something <laughs> that we've learned, yes. but the prayer aspect of it mm -hmm. brings us into and then grafts us into his will. Mm -hmm. And so when we were praying yesterday, we were praying and scripture was talking about you know, early in the morning, will I seek thee? And yes. uh, you know where, and he talks about the uh, uh, the the, the uh, uh, a land where a dry land, mm. and you know, which was speaking mainly to spiritual uh, uh, dryness. Okay. And uh, but my point is, is that when I, as I would begin to 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 pray it, I start getting revelation of it mm -hmm. more, mm -hmm. and the more revelation, the more I was engrafted into it. My will is engrafted into it because. You know, there's some amazing things that take place when you pray, you realize and you become you can become so astonished about God's 
how, how who he is mm -hmm. just by his word alone yes. when he begins to speak and I think that's one of the good parts about prayer that God gives us revelation I believe prayer. if you truly want to shoot missiles and or shoot uh, or release dynamic prayers it's through the word of God yeah it's through his yes. word because yes. his word does not return void. there you go that's it he says put me in Remembrance of, of my, my word. word. That's right. And, does, and doesn't he stand watch over it? He stand watch to perform over it. it? To perform so it. he just needs somebody to release it. <laughs> now he's watching over what we what we release. Yes. Wow. Yes. And it is his perfect will. Mm -hmm. It is. His word is his perfect will. It's, that's what it is. And he has a perfect will for every circumstance, mm -hmm. for every situation, yeah. for every ailment, illness, disease, mm -hmm. whatever it is, yes. it's in the word of God. Yes, yes. And yes. that's what the labor is. Wow. It's in the word. That's right. The labor is in the word, but it takes the labor out of the prayer. It takes the labor out of the prayer. That's right. Yes. And I don't mind laboring in the word. No, neither do I'm I. I'm anxious and I want to know mm -hmm. what God is saying. I get goosebumps sometimes when I get a revelation yes. I was like that's what you were saying yes and some of those things only come when we spend time mm -hmm. in, prayer in prayer with him and he and yes. he gives us that revelation mm -hmm. so that that is that that is so powerful um Jesus said my words are spirit and my words are, are life mm -hmm. so it, it would it would it would it would it would seem to me that every time we pray his word yes we are releasing mm -hmm. life Wow. We're, rele we're releasing life into situations, circumstances, surroundings, yes. and even in ourselves because we're speaking the word of God. I'm looking at you and I'm just getting receiving another revelation. Okay. Um, as you were saying that when you were praying Psalms 63, you were getting revelation. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's like, you know, Christ is in us. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit is in us. Yes. And I believe, Apostle, that when you were praying the word of God, you were talking to the Holy Spirit. And I mm -hmm. believe he was answering you. That's right. He was giving you more revelation. That's what it is. Right there. And mm -hmm. that is powerful. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, again, we can combine that with the fact that the Bible says that the Holy Spirit will lead us into all truth. Yes. And, 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 and that is, again, that is his word. His word is truth. You sanctify them with truth. Thy word is truth. Word is so when we're praying the word, we are so, I, I don't think sometimes we know how much we have mm. in God. And, yes. and we, we didn't even get into no scriptures yet because this <laughs> is getting good already. But I don't think we understand that those moments and those times that we set aside to spend time in, in, in his word. Yes. Um, and pray and pray his word. And one of the things I, re I realized, it takes us out of the repetitiveness of saying and robotically saying the same things. His word delivers me from that because when you pray his word, you're praying what he gives you to pray. And um, it, it, it's just a, it's just a whole different realm. It is. And I would say to anyone who is looking to um, become fervent in prayer or to increase their prayer life. You know, don't put any pressure on yourself. Mm -hmm. Take the word of God and pray the word and just pray it. Mm -hmm. You know, Charles and Francis Hunter, I heard them say once, she says, I never let any of my time go to waste with reading the word. She says, so I know how the word of God says, you know, keep it in your eyes and in your mouth. Mm -hmm. So she says, when I'm reading the word of God, I just read out loud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She says, I don't let one yes. word go to waste. Okay. I don't let no time. She said, I'm looking at it, mm -hmm. and now I'm reciting it, yes. and now I'm hearing it. Yes. Isn't that what he told Joshua? Mm -hmm. Meditate yes. upon the law. Mm -hmm. yes. Keep this book in front of your yes. eyes and mm -hmm. in your mouth yes. and in your ears. Yes. So she was talking about receiving all of the benefits mm -hmm. of just being alone. Right. And when you are just say maybe reading Psalm 63, read it out loud. Yes. And yes. now you're receiving the benefit. You're receiving the benefit. Yes. And then you're also releasing a prayer. That's right. That's right. That is powerful. That's powerful. You have some scripture mm -hmm. that you brought along with you. Yes, sir. You want to share with us? And, and while, while, you're, while you're doing that, let's also think some talk some more on and let's encourage the people who feel like their prayers are being delayed um because that's a, that's that's one of the entry points of the enemy 
when we think that God is not uh, uh, um, hearing us. Yes. But the Bible tells us that his prayers are attentive to the righteous. Yes. His ears are attentive to the prayers of the righteous. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so I think, I think the first thing that I would, I would encourage people who feel like their prayers are being delayed is that it's not that God doesn't hear you. There's nothing that happens or, been, or said that gets by him. Mm -hmm. But he is especially attentive to the prayers of the righteous. Yes. And, and even though the, what we are praying for has not manifested, God has a, an intended purpose. Yes, he does. And if we can... We can if we can uh, embrace that, mm -hmm. that God knows yes. all things. I would say to one who is maybe have not experienced any breakthrough in their prayer life is to settle within that you trust God, mm -hmm. that you trust his word, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. it is God's desire yes. to answer your prayers. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing I would say, after you have made up your mind to trust God, find the promises yes. for that situation. Okay. Find you one scripture, two or three scriptures mm -hmm. and apply it to, say, salvation. If you're believing for salvation for a loved one, yes. find you some scriptures yes. and put it there and personalize it with that individual's name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you stay on that word. Right. You, you stay on it. You recite that word. Yes. And then also from that, you can begin to affirm to God, Father, I trust I you. I trust, yes. I trust in your word. Wow. Many trust in this and that situation, but I trust, trust in yes. you. Yes. yes. I know you said you never leave me nor forsake me. Mm -hmm. You said that me and my house mm -hmm. shall be saved. Yes. So, Father, I stay on this. Yes. I yes. trust you. And it becomes a, a place where you uh, put your heels in the ground and you stand on that. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is my stance. Yes. These are my scriptures. Mm -hmm. I trust God. God said that we would. So now you have taken it from a, a prayer to an affirmation, and yeah. now you want to start making declaration. Amen. And you start saying, Amen. I decree, Johnny, you're saved. Mm -hmm. Johnny, I decree you in your right mind. Mm -hmm. I decree that the things that God has for you, they will come to pass. Yes. I believe God. God said it, and I'm standing on the word of God. Yes. And you will begin to see even... Uh, the, your attitude shift. You mm -hmm. will begin to feel heaviness leave you. Mm -hmm. You will begin to dis, to dismantle the lies of the enemy that tells mm -hmm. you that Johnny will not be saved. Yeah. And you can begin to take the word of God mm -hmm. and now you are moving it like a sword. Oh, it's a sword right. And you're fighting against the lies of the devil mm -hmm. with the promises of God. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, Johnny will be saved. Yes, he will. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Excuse me. I liken also... I like to use metaphors and things like that, but I like and also sometimes delayed, what we consider delayed mm. is just actually divine movement of God. Yes. Because while we think he's not doing something, mm -hmm. he always is. Even if he doesn't manifest the prayers, the, uh, bring us the answers right away, even in that, that means he's doing something. He's doing something. And so um, I liken it to my sons. Um, my children, um, I like for them to depend on me mm -hmm. as children because I don't want them dependent on other people, <laughs> number one. And there's some things that they come to me for mm. that I want to do, yes, but I don't do mm -hmm. right away mm. because I know there's something else that needs to take place before I do it. That's good. They may not be ready for it, mm -hmm. what they're asking for, so I may have to take them through some time or point them in the direction where they can learn more about what it is, yes. get some knowledge of it and not just want it because they think it's the right thing. And sometimes mm -hmm. we pray and we go to God because we think it's the right thing mm. and God has to show us yes. uh, through the waiting, mm -hmm. you know, but even in that, I believe that he's, he's doing, I've had many personal testimonies of that happening where I ask God to do something. And, I'm scratching my head, saying, "Lord, I know this is a good idea. Why are you not on? Why are you not with me on this? Yes. Or oh, I know uh, this person needs certain mm -hmm. something done, or or healing even. Mm -hmm. Why 
and I have to un I have to understand that God is doing wow. something. You know, He told Daniel, "I heard your prayer. Mm -hmm. Your prayer was heard the day you prayed it. Yes. When you prayed it, it was heard. Mm -hmm. There was warfare. Mm -hmm. We don't know all the time. That's right. And I want to share that I, we don't know all the time all the intricacies. We just sometimes pray what we believe is the will of God, mm. and God even has to judge that mm -hmm. because sometimes that can happen." But I believe that, uh, and I think we should understand that God knows best. Yes. Best of planners, and all of our prayers have to be subject. And I think you said it, but you said it in different words. All of our prayers have to become subject to His will. To His will. His will. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which is His word. Which is His word. Which is His word. But, Pastor, you said something that you learned a lot during the waiting and in the waiting mm -hmm. and now we can go somewhere else with that sure because in the waiting of waiting for the answers to be made manifest they like you said it could be warfare going on mm -hmm. most of the time it is warfare going on yes. because when you're taking territory the enemy just doesn't give it up mm -hmm. he doesn't give it up without a fight mm -hmm. especially if he has been around in that situation for a while yeah. he thinks he has squatters rights yes and so we have to dismantle him mm -hmm. uh, in that. But in the waiting, uh, another thing that takes place, like you said, the Holy Spirit is talking to us. Mm -hmm. he, maybe he's maturing us. That's right. Maybe he's trying to see if we can hold what he put in our hands. Sure. Maybe he's building the capacity mm -hmm. inside of us to hold that blessing that yes. we're praying for. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of dynamics that is waiting. But I would say that the engine to all of that, even in the waiting, is trusting Trust God. God. Trust you. And, and in saying trusting God, what I just heard Holy Spirit say is no matter what, remain in the will of God. Mm -hmm. Because that's the battle. It's to re because the enemy wants to take us out of the will yes. of God and try to uh, 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 compromise, mm. cause us to compromise in how we, how we trust God. And if, the, maybe if, we, if he's successful in that, that means he's pulled us out of the will of God. And we need to remain in the will of God for yes. what is it, whenever we're praying to God. Well, we're supposed to remain in the will of God always. Mm -hmm. But especially when we're seeking God for something. Yes. And I can't imagine, prophetess, and this is again, this is just me. I can't imagine a prayer, a sincere prayer released by a, a, a righteous person mm. that is consistent with the will of God. I cannot imagine a prayer like that that does not come under, under warfare. That's true. I cannot imagine the enemy allowing us to pray to will and he not try <laughs> on some level yes. to stop it. Mm -hmm. And the only way he can stop it is to stop us from believing. Yes. Because he can't stop the word. Can't stop the word. But he can stop us from trusting and believing. Yes. And a lot of times what he start doing is shooting arrows. Yes. Uh, at the mind. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, as he said to Eve, did God say? Mm -hmm. Did God say? Mm -hmm. And so as you're waiting, you know, you have to be aware of his devices. That's right. And so if it's a voice that comes to you that is not aligned with the will that you have prayed for God, now you must begin to divide the word of truth. Now you must examine that word. Mm -hmm. You don't just receive that train of thought right. and leave it alone. That's you right. have to contend with it. That's right. Wait a minute. God did say. And yes. then you go to your word That's and say, right. God said here. God said. And you can silence his voice. That's it. That's but it's it. his job is to bring deception. He's That's a it. thief. He, is he a comes thief. to kill, steal, and That's to destroy. Right. He comes to bring deception. Yes. And yes. so stand in the will of God. How do we do that in the waiting? By praising God. That's right. That's a great thing to do. That's right. It's to begin to minister to him, to praise him, to bless his name. Yes, yes, yes. And you said something um, so powerful. Um, God said. God said. When we're praying the word of God, we're praying God said. God said. And we know what happens when God speaks. Oh. God said, "Let there be." So, and we see that we see what took place. So, the enemy is afraid of the God said. Yes. That's in us mm -hmm. when we read it and we believe what God says. Yes. That's what he comes after. Mm -hmm. I often tell 
uh, the members that the enemy comes after what you know. And when I say that, I'm saying the word. Mm -hmm. When you, he comes to rob us and strip us of the word of God because then we don't have the faith that's necessary uh, and, 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 and we don't trust God. Mm -hmm. And so he comes after what we know. That's why we have to pull down. Yes. And we have to uh, pull down strongholds mm -hmm. and cast down all vain imagination. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and, and because that's what he does. He doesn't want us to trust and believe God for the very thing we prayed for. And that's powerful that we have to pull down the vain imagination mm -hmm. that is exalting itself against what? That's right. Against the will of God. That's right. But now, then listen to this. Go ahead. How can you pull down the vain and wicked imaginations that's exalting itself against the knowledge of God. If you don't have the knowledge of God for that's that situation. Right. That's right. So that's why you must be in the word. In the word. That's now right. you can say, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That, that's not from God. Because mm -hmm. the word says here, now we have the tools to pull down yes. those wicked imagination. Exalting itself against the knowledge of God. Against the knowledge. And a lot of people don't understand that level of warfare because they don't have the knowledge of God. To mm -hmm. combat that's right those wicked imaginations mm -hmm. they don't even know that the imaginations that they're having are wicked that's right that's right wow wow and so the word of god once again it's a light it's a, light. It's a lamp that's right you know it's it it, it corrects our path mm -hmm. the word of god he says is like a hammer it so it can go in it can destroy that's it right. can tear down that's right he said is it not like fire mm -hmm. so what needs to be burnt up that's right the word of God can mm -hmm. do it all for us. That's right. Wow. And you know, that come, and that brings it to the point, and we're still talking about prayer, because that brings us to the point of, of 11, um, Hebrews 11 and 6, mm -hmm. without faith. Yes. And, 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 and the power of our prayer, again, is having faith in what we pray when we pray the word of God. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. So when we pray, the word of God, mm. we're saying even then, yes. we trust, we believe, we yes. have faith in what you've said. Mm -hmm. We have faith. And in that process, I believe it's building us up, it's transforming right. us. And the more we pray, the more we're transformed. Mm -hmm. And we should be at that place where no matter what happens, I believe God. You know, and that, that's not an easy place to arrive to. Mm -hmm. Because let's be honest, there are setbacks in our walk. Mm -hmm. I, I've never had it all the years I've been. Uh, uh, save where there was never a, there was never a breakage or a weak point. Wow! I've had them, mm -hmm. and but thank God I've been able to bounce back. That's Holy good. Spirit has drawn me back. Yes. Uh, um, because I've gone through some devastating moments, and it didn't last long though, because mm, I love the Lord. Um, but the the human side, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and at at times has taken over. But thank God, you know, His Word is always. Uh, uh, the Holy Spirit has always given me yes. a remembrance, a reminder of what God has said in his word concerning me and my situation and reminding me of past situations. Mm. That helps me to pray. Yes. And, and um, what is so good about fellowshipping with one another that when those tough times do come, mm -hmm. that, you know, sometimes you can have devastating news that can cause someone just to be knocked off their feet. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's good to be around the saints of God. That when you cannot pray, there's someone around that's you right. that are praying, interceding and covering you. That's right. That's right. You know, I had received uh, some devastating news, you know, about my husband's health. Mm -hmm. And for a moment, I, I was just like a deer mm. in the headlights. Okay. But I was surrounded yes. with believers. I was surrounded with the people who began to war and pray. Mm -hmm. And it was like for a day or two, I couldn't say a word. But mm -hmm. then strength came. Yes. But in that gap, in, the, in, that, in that moment where I could not pray, there were prayers been made for yes, me. Yes, been made for you. That's right. There were prayers been made. And I know it was those prayers that helped me to bounce back and get in my rightful position mm -hmm. and to begin to wage war. Amen. And so um, 
That's why saints of God, don't be isolated. That's right. You know, when you're going, you know, praying and believing God for some things, don't isolate yourself. Don't say, oh, I got this. Oh, I'm handling this. Mm. No, find you some believers who believe God, who believes God's word, who pray God's word, who can get a prayer through. And I tell you, partner with them and begin to pray and watch how breakthrough begins to happen. A scripture that comes to mind concerning this, and um, we're still talking about prayer uh, and, and need for healing. Yes. And, and again, but uh, I'm, I'm at um, First John, and uh, and I want to encourage somebody with this scripture as well. Uh, First John chapter five, and uh, verse um, fourteen says, "And this is the confidence mm. that we have in Him." If we ask anything according to his will, <laughs> he hears us. Yes. God never turns mm. his ear away from his word. Isn't that beautiful? You see? So I'm getting excited. Even now, I've read this a million times, but the dialogue alone and just having our minds focused on this, uh, on this is, is, is helping me even right now concerning even things that I'm dealing with and facing and I need God. Yes. But this is powerful. It is powerful. He hears us. He hears us. That's it. That's just like a father again or a mother who hears the cry of their child. They know the voice mm -hmm. of that child. If yes. that child is in a group of people and that child cries out, that mother knows, that father would That's know. That's the truth. And they hear yes. and who and, and we don't turn our ears from our children. That's right. We, we know we're responsible for them. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, and so that's that, 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 that I liken that. And sometimes we have to bring it down to that level for us to really get it. That's good. You know, that's true. Uh, cause in the spirit is much deeper when it comes to the spiritual part of it, mm. but to get it to that, that, that side, we can understand it. And then it says verse number 15. And if we know that he hears us whatsoever we ask, we know we have the petitions that we desire of him. Mm -hmm. And the only prerequisite is that it's consistent with yes. his will, with his will. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's it. Yes. God wants to perform mm -hmm. his will. Yes, he does. In the earth. Mm -hmm. And he does that through us. Yes, he does. Let it be done on earth as it is. As it is. I'm sorry, let it be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's right. And God's will is, that's the only thing that's happening in heaven is God's will. It's God's will. Mm -hmm. It's his word. Yeah, it's his um, word. In John um, 1, it says that in the beginning was the word and mm -hmm. the word was God. Yeah. And the word was with God and the word was God. Amen. So we just thank God for the word. In the beginning was the word. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing without the word. That's right. Nothing without the word. And the word, what was God? That's and it right. is God. Mm -hmm. So he is just so excited when we can bring him back his will, That's which is right. his word That's that right. he has given us. Mm -hmm. And so that is just so, so amazing that, um, as he says, the same was in the beginning with God. The mm -hmm. same. The same. He spoke in the beginning. That's he right. said, let there be. Mm -hmm. Let there be light. Mm -hmm. And that's what he's looking for us to do. For the same to be in the beginning. In the beginning of our prayers, in the middle of our prayers, the ending of our prayers. Mm -hmm. And even when we're out of prayer. Mm -hmm. He's looking for the word. Mm -hmm. He's looking to see, are you going to negate those prayers that you just finished praying? Yes, yes. Are you going to stay aligned with the word of God? Yes. So every word counts. I want to say that to someone. Yeah. Every word counts wow. while you're in prayer and even when you're out of prayer. Yeah. Now, you could be alone with God. You could have created, you know, your prayer list and spent time with him. But when you come out of that prayer time. Mm -hmm. I want you to know that every word counts. Yes, yes. When you're on the telephone, when you're talking to someone and mm -hmm. they're asking you how things are going, yes. you can't say, well, I don't know. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. That's not what you said in your prayer time. Mm -hmm. Every word counts. Every word counts. Every word will be weighed. Mm -hmm. 
So yes. we have to be very careful. Yes, yes. We're not telling you not don't speak the truth. Mm -hmm. We're telling you to speak the truth of God's word concerning that prayer. Yes, yes. I just got an a, a amazing vision um, as you were speaking, and I, and I just saw this vision of angels mm. standing ready to be dispatched. Yay. Because of something that we prayed to God. Mm. I just got that. <laughs> I, I just got an army, a legion, a host of angels. Wow. And, and, I, and, and, and I'm not being theatrical, but I, you know, because I, I know how God, from what I, I've, I've studied, I know that God, God, God gives us ange angelic support. Yes. And, and, and many angels are standing watch. And we don't, and, and again, if you're waiting for God to do something that you've prayed about, you know, it could be that God uh, uh, has angels standing uh, and, 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 and wait and, and even have, are positioned mm. to prevent whatever could be. Yes. And just because we prayed, it can't happen, even though we feel maybe like God is not moving. Mm. We don't know what was stopped. We don't know what was halted yes you see mm -hmm. um because we just took the time to pray and believe god for it don't get weak don't get weak in your prayers if you prayed believing god just know that it is the plan of the enemy to come and try to strip you of your trust in god's ability to perform in your situation I, I, I'll go as far as to say this. There's nothing that we prayed about that God doesn't already know. Mm -hmm. You know, he stands in our tomorrow. So yes. he's just looking for vessels to pray. And, and if you prayed and it hasn't happened yet, you're still a vessel. And you're still one that God is. He hears his word. If you prayed his word, he hears his word because it's his will. It's his will. But I, I, I just see those. I just I can just see. A host of uh, angels, um, invisible, just protecting, hedging Amen. situations, Amen. Uh, uh, and people in, mm. and they and and we don't know, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We don't know how we came through some of the stuff we came yes. through. Yes, yes. Um, I know. Just to give one um, testimony about uh, the angels of the Lord. I was driving down the street and a car came flying out of a parking lot and I was in his view to hit. And I braced myself and turned to the side and said, Jesus. And it was as if my car was raised up in the air and his mm. car went through me. Whoa. And everyone jumped out and they says, we just knew he had hit you. We just knew he had hit you. How did he get around you? Mm -hmm. Because it was the angels of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And as God is giving apostle a glimpse of the angelic host that is available right now. Amen. I want to encourage yes. you to call upon the name of yes, Jesus Christ, Jesus. because at his name, the angels are dispatched. Jesus said to yes. them, do you not know I can call down a, a legion of angels yes. to come and fight for yes. me because they respond to the name yes. of Jesus Christ. Right. So as we are here today, yes. we want to encourage you. That the angels of the Lord, they are there and they are on assignment yes. and they are there waiting for you yes. to say Jesus. Yes. And even as we are here releasing the mighty mm, name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, I'm telling you, angels yes. are being dispatched yes. now. They are Brabasu. being dispatched throughout these airways yes. and they are Brabasu. going Brabasu. forth. And I'm seeing someone mm, named beautiful. Timothy. Beautiful. I'm seeing the name Timothy and you have been crying out to the Lord yes. for help. And I'm telling you, the angels of the Lord are being dispatched right now. Yes. And I'm seeing court documents. And those documents, I see the angels of the Lord bringing them right in front of the judge, mm. of the judge's face. And I'm seeing the judge that is reviewing your documents and that judgment yes. that was against you. God is having that judge yes. to, to release you from that judgment. Oh, so, Father, we thank you for yes. Timothy today. 
Thank you, Jesus. But you know, normally when the word comes Thank forth, you, it's more than for one person. It's for all that believes. Yes. And for anyone with a judgment, yes. anyone that experiencing any type of court uh, judgment, we are praying today for the release Lord, of those judgments yes. now in Jesus', Jesus mighty name. name. Yes. And you will see. Thank and you. when you receive that approval, that, that dismissal, you contact Christ Family Network. Yes. Yes. And you let them know, hey, you were talking about me. Look what just took place. Yes, amen. And there is a number on the screen that you can call, and we want to hear from you. I want to hear from you personally, and I want to hear your testimony. Um, this is um, so powerful. Um, let's shift and let's move in some more to... Um, the, the, the need for prayer for uh, for he the time for healing. Yes, um, and also just this sure. Timothy, this Timothy, and with that Timothy, I'm seeing that you have been experiencing pain on your left side mm. in your kidney region. So we send the word yes. of God now you, for your healing. Oh, we said God. be healed every which yes, way and we God. command healing to be made manifest Lord, Lord, Lord. we said kidneys be healed thank in you, jesus. jesus mighty yes. name thank you jesus mm. and anyone jesus, else jesus jesus on dialysis we send the word of god mm. for your healing for a creative you, miracle now in jesus, jesus. mighty name it says in Psalms 107 20 that we can send the word of God. Yes. So we send it right now. We send it in yes. Jesus mighty name. We said be healed Heal. in your kidneys today yes. in yes. Jesus name. In the name of Jesus. I want to um, stress that just what you just said also to take it to that another place because you know some of that healing that we need is emotional. Mm. Um, psychological, yes. spiritual. There's so much that has taken place in the last 16 months mm -hmm. of the world. Mm -hmm. The world has experienced something and it may not be a physical healing, but all of the associations of, of what, what, we, what many of us have gone through, um, we, we, speak, we speak healing, complete healing and wholeness over your mind, relationships, mm -hmm. finance, yes. uh, uh, um, um, whatever it is, yes. we speak God's word yes. right, now. right now. He said that he would supply mm -hmm. all of your needs, yes. every need, everything concerning you. He said he would supply it according to his riches and glory. Yes. And so I just declare and decree right now, and we pray and we touch and agree right now that every aspect of, uh, of your being, who, who's, who, whoever's watching now, yes. and, and you, are, you are struggling and you're suffering mm. in your thoughts and your mind, and you can't seem to get your bearing because mm. things are, seem to be all out of place. But we, we, we bring, we call it right now that all things are, are brought together in the divine way, in the divine pattern, the divine will of God for yes. your situation and for your life. And it's not over. It's not over. And, mm -hmm. and, and I even hear God said, you've prayed, but you've prayed not believing. But God said the, the key to having your prayers answered is just believing. Jesus declared that if you ask anything of the Father in my name and believe it, he said, I will do it that the Father and my Father might be glorified. Yes. God wants to hear prayers, your prayers. Mm -hmm. He wants to hear believing prayers today. And I want to just share that. I want, I want to speak that over you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name in of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Mm. Mm -hmm. God knows. Yes, uh, I'm hearing the name Jonathan. Mm. I'm hearing, uh, Jonathan, you received a bad report from the doctor. But today, God is answering your prayers. Thank you, Jesus. You, you, you were saying that this is what my father had. 
Mm. But God, goodness and mercy is Thank breaking Jesus. that stronghold off your bloodline. Yes. Receive your healing now, John, Jonathan, and it has to do with your memory. Yes. So we just speak healing to your memory today in Amen. Jesus' mighty in name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Wow. You know, Apostle, you were saying, uh, mentioning that. You know, the last year and a half has really been very, very devastating. And I believe that in the midst of that devastation that was happening globally, the enemy was releasing strongholds of the mind. Mm -hmm. And when I say the strongholds of the mind, where he, he had so many people thinking that nothing would change. And that's what a stronghold yeah. is, that this is it, mm -hmm. this is how it's going to be, and nothing will change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we're here today in the name of, in Jesus, the name of Jesus to pull down that stronghold yes. and to exalt the name of Jesus above you, those Jesus. situations. Yes. And we say strongholds fall down yes. and we release hope. Yes. The hope of God to you now. You, we release that your eyes will be open, that you will see mm -hmm. that God's plans for you are good yes. and not evil to bring you into an expected end. Mm -hmm. And that end is good. Yes. So may this word today yes. pull down and break every lie of yes. the enemy yes. over your life. Yes. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. I'm reminded um, of the story with Mary and Martha. When Lazarus has died, mm -hmm. and it was the fourth day, and uh, Mary said that uh, when all hope seemed to be gone, yes. Mary said, "Even now, mm -hmm. I know that as bleak and as and as and as bad, and most people have wrote it off." Mm -hmm. She said, "But I believe even now, even now, even now, and 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 that's what God wants. He wants He wants us to that place now." coming out of this that in spite of all that has happened in spite of all the many uh, uh, deaths yes. uh, so many died mm -hmm. through this so many suffered who didn't die so many uh, went back on drugs mm -hmm. uh, um, there was um, domestic violence uh, there were so many things that came um, yes. as a result of this last 15 months and yes it's time for the healing mm -hmm. uh, to truly begin um, those that are mourning, still mourning loved ones. I think about the children. Uh, I saw one report of a, a, a young boy who was 13 years old. His parents died within days of one another of, of the COVID, leaving him by himself. Uh, there's a healing that needs to take place yes. in that young man's heart. And though I don't know him because God placed him on my heart, I just speak in the name of Jesus, because I know the word of God can go and reach yes. his heart right now. And I just pray uh, over you, uh, young man, that God will heal you yes. uh, and, and, and that you, you, will, you, will, you will come through it. And, and it won't take away from who God has purposed you to be. Amen. Uh, and I just declare it in the mighty name of Jesus. I, I speak over your mind. I speak over your psyche. I speak over everything concerning your thought processes. Yes. And I believe God for to to do to do a, a miracle to do a work on the inside of you, yes. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And all of those of you that have suffered mm -hmm. as as a result, who have suffered loss of loved ones and who are still mourning, mm -hmm. uh, I speak over you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And I declare it. I declare. I declare God's presence, yes. peace, joy, love. Yes. I declare it over you right now and it's perfect will for your life. Amen. 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 That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. And so, Father, I continue in that prayer that for the spirit of mourning, God, give them the spirit of 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 joy. Yes. Of joy, Father, as they look to you. As they call upon your name, mm -hmm. Father, you can change that mourning into joy. Yes. So, Father, we pray right now that you would do that for them. Yes. God, let your love just flood them now. Mm -hmm. Let your love flood every heart and that they will experience, God, that you are with them. Yes. That you'll never leave them nor forsake them. Yes. So we thank you, Father, thank you, for your keeping power, for keeping them. 
In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. All right. Well, we have some more scripture. Uh, um, yes. Yeah, so um, concerning healing, I had wanted to talk about that Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Mm -hmm. In John 6, um, 33. He said, I am the bread of life. Mm -hmm. And then he also says that healing is the children's bread. bread. That's right. And so to encourage you today to call upon Jesus for mm -hmm. your healing. Yes. Because he is the bread of life. Mm -hmm. And it is the deliverance is the children's bread. Yes. So we release deliverance today through the word of God. Yes. That yes. you will partake of mm -hmm. the healing anointing mm -hmm. that is in Jesus. Yes. You yes. know, for it says, whose report will you believe? Mm -hmm. Will you believe the report of the Lord? Yes. That by his stripes that you are healed. Thank you, Jesus. And then first Peter says, by his stripes you were healed. Mm -hmm. Will you believe the report of the Lord that says that deliverance belongs to you? Yes. So we want to speak to you today concerning deliverance. What is deliverance is mentally, physically, financially, mm -hmm. uh, emotionally, that healing will take place. Mm -hmm. It belongs to you, the believer. Yes. It is your portion. Yes. And may you partake. Yes. Partake. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just say with me, I receive. I'm yes. a partaker. Yes. I'm a partaker of the children's bread. So we thank you today yes. for as they are partaking today. Mm -hmm that deliverance is taking place amen amen and even with that deliverance also means to be saved from it's one of the connotations it means to be saved from so whatever ills that a person like you just mentioned might be dealing with right now suffering from financially physical you know, relationship when when you know we don't sometimes con uh, equate healing with deliverance yes but Deliverance is healing. It's healing, yes. It's being saved from. When you're healed, mm. you're saved from a thing that cause, that comes to cause you harm. And so, yeah, we, we speak deliverance uh, and healing. And I will cure you. And I will revile you. I reveal unto you the abundance of peace and truth. I'll read that again. Behold, I will bring it health and cure. Yes. Jesus says, I will bring the health and the cure mm -hmm. and I will cure you yes. and will reveal unto you the abundance of peace and truth. Yes. yes. And so can we just pray that the revelation of his peace and truth will be revealed to them? Yes. And I believe that in the peace of who Jesus is and the truth of his word, healing springs forth. Yes. Amen. I believe it springs forth when we are at peace with his word mm -hmm. that he said he would. Yes, and yes. the truth of his word that he will do it. Yes, I yes. believe healing, the cure will come forth. Amen. In Amen. Jesus name. In Jesus name. And let me say this. God honors our faith. Mm -hmm. It is faith that moves God. And, and I, I, I believe, again, that's the prerequisite for whatever we ask and believe God for. Yes. That we truly believe it. Mm. That is the thing that causes God to move. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. Yes. But they that come unto him must believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And the seeking, there is the belief at factor. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm seeking him and I'm diligent in it because yeah. I believe. And no one continues in this diligent in something that they're not sold out with or yes. sold out to. When we're diligent, it says no matter what it looks like, I'm, I'm going to go through this. Uh, and I'm not going to let any obstacles get in my way that is going to prevent me from believing and trusting God. Yes. And that's what God wants. Mm -hmm. And it comes right back to the total dependency upon him for yes. the things that we need. And let me share one more thing. Uh, the Bible tells us, uh, Psalms 84, that God will withhold no good thing mm. from them that walk uprightly. The walking uprightly aspect is, again, it, it equates and goes back to believing. Yes. It's not just behavior, because if I believe God, my behavior is adjusted anyway. Mm -hmm. And so it talks about uh, also believing God. Yes. When I'm walking uprightly mm -hmm. before him, it means my focus and my 
uh, you know, set my, my, my affections are set on things above, mm -hmm. meaning that I trust and I believe, and that's where I'm, that's where I'm living. I'm, 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 that's where I'm, 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 I'm or, that's my orbit, yes, uh, if you will, where, where he is and what he says and what he wants to do. That's good. And what he wants to do through me. Yes, that's powerful. That's po living uprightly. That is so, so um, necessary mm -hmm. and needed. Yes. Uh, for us to live uprightly. Yes. And in, in living uprightly, sometimes we do slip. Mm -hmm. We do stumble. We do fall. But you know, God has something for that. Mm -hmm. What does he have? He has his mercy. He has mercy. That's right. He has his mercy waiting. They mm -hmm. say, my mercies are new every morning. Mm -hmm. And you know, there are some people you have, you have probably uh, slipped you probably stepped away temporarily, mm -hmm. but we just want to say that God's mercies mm -hmm. have been keeping you. Yes. That God's mercy will cover you yes. and God's mercy will help you to get back up and yes. come forth. Thank you. God's Thank you. mercy. So don't think yes. that uh, there's no hope for me because I messed up and mm -hmm. I turned away from God and I fell into something. We are releasing God's mercy. Yes. May you have the Thank revelation you. of God's mercy. Yes. And I believe once an individual who has stepped away from God or who have probably slipped, once they experience the mercies of God, mm -hmm. they come running back to him. Yes. They yes. run back to him quicker than one yes. who's there, who has been with him mm -hmm. because they know that Judgment should have been their portion. Right. They know that the enemy had them in their crosshairs, yes. but God's mercy came yes. and saved them yes. and delivered them. Yes. And this, I'm speaking to a woman for you've been praying for your son. Many of you all, you've been praying for your sons. So we're saying that God's mercy is covering them. Thank God's you. mercy will lead them back Thank to them. Yes. And one of your sons had experienced almost a near death experience yes. with a gunshot. And God's mercy covered him. God's mercy covered him. And he's going to come back and he's going to say, Ma, can you believe what almost happened to me? I know you were praying for me. So, mother, woman of God, I want to encourage you. Keep praying. God's mercy will cover your children yes. in Jesus' mighty in name. Jesus' name. Wow. Well, we have to wrap it up. It has been a, a wonderful. Listen, we did not get into the, the <laughs> lesson and, and the scriptures. So we're coming back next week. This yes. time um, we're going to pick up where we left off. There's, there, we have a lot to talk about. Yes, we do. And uh, but I truly believe God that God has moved in this uh, time that we've, mm -hmm. uh, we've, we've been together here. And those of you that are watching now and those that you of you that will watch, we know that God's word will not return void. When his word is sent, he really just needs somebody on the other end of it to believe it. And if you believe God's word, you, will, you get a revelation of God's love. And once you get a revelation of God's love, I'll tell you, that's the beginning of the, the best parts of your life. And I thank God for allowing us this time to spend with you. Prophetess Tansy, thank you for being with me. We're going to be back next week again. And uh, listen, we want you to come back as well. We'll talk with you soon. Remember the numbers on the uh, on the screen. Give us a call if you have a testimony. We want to hear from you. God bless and we'll see you next time.